Hello and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. I apologize, people. I've been busy with other stuff, but I am back. And I'm back with a fan theory about the new Ripperverse that has been launched by Eric D. July. This is a this is a IP I've been looking forward to for quite a while, ever since uh, he announced it on his channel, probably close to a year ago, maybe longer. And it finally launched this week. And it's doing insanely well. Over $2 million uh, raised. And he has been giving us little hints here and there <clears throat> about what the universe is, who the characters are, what their powers might be. And I want to go over the first trailer that he has launched. But first, uh, let's talk about the character. Uh, Isam. This is the main character right here. Uh, this is him in his, his uniform and his little power stance. Um, aside from his name, we do not know much about him. In the trailer, I'm not going to play the trailer. Um, you guys, uh, I'll leave a link in the description for all that stuff so you can watch it yourselves. Uh, I just want to talk about the information in the trailer. So uh, what Ripa told us about this character is that his name is a Avery Silman. Um he was born and raised and lives in Texas. And when he was young, he developed new abilities and powers and decided to live his life as a superhero. And then as he was doing that, um, he adopted the name Isam. And then somewhere along the line, he decided he didn't want to uh, live that type of life. And then he moved into like rural Texas um, and runs his own ranch and farm. So that's the background of this character right here. But he gets pulled in uh, into the life again um, because someone from his sister's company goes missing and he goes and dives into basically the criminal underworld um, of, uh, of Texas to try to find this missing person. But I don't want to talk about the story. I want to talk about the other stuff. Uh, Isom. Avery Silman. So Ripa told us that Avery Silman adopted the name Isom. So that is the exact language that Ripa used. So adopting means that you decide to take on something that isn't yours. That isn't something that you created, something that you birthed or anything. Um, and so what I think Isam is, um, it was a name that that the community uh, was calling him, and then he just adopted that name. He just took it on for himself. All right. So now, what does Isam mean? If you were to type that name in the uh, in Google, um, you you'll get some um, you'll get some results uh, that saying that it's from a. Uh, English slash Celtic origin, uh, meaning homestead and all that. Um, but that's not, I, I don't believe that's why Isom is called what he is. Um, Isom, that name stood out to me because I'm actually familiar from it from my own background. I, I, I was raised in the Church of God in Christ. Um, and oddly enough, one of the elders children uh was called isam but his real name was ishmael everyone called him ishmael but his close families uh will call him isam for short and so i believe that might be a more accurate name or more accurate meaning of the name for this character solely based off of, well, based off of two things. Um, he's in Texas. Texas is known to be more conservative and Christian and something like that. So it makes more sense that um, a community would call someone a name that is either Hebrew in, um, in nature or somehow connected to the Bible. And then furthermore, if you would look at um, Isam's waistband, he has a cross belt buckle right there. 
And so that's why I believe that that's what Esam's name is. So what does Ishmael mean? The the um the Hebrew meaning of Ishmael means God hears us. And so what I am thinking with this name, this character, the setting, and where he is from is that he rose up, he was fighting crime, he was saving people. And before that, before he started doing that, the community was probably praying, praying to God for some sort of deliverance or some sort of help uh, to straighten out the community to help uh, to help them out. And then uh, all of a sudden, Avery Silman shows up out of nowhere, starts beating up the bad guys, setting stuff right. And then the community will probably call him Esam. Uh, God hears us. God heard their prayers. God hears us. Um, you, you see where I'm going with that. So that's that's kind of what I think uh, this character's background is. Um, and I think he's connected to another character. I'm going to stop sharing my screen for this one. And I'm going to move over to this other tab right here. Now, this is straight off uh, the Ripperverse trailer. Let's see if it's up. Yep, it's up. All right. So there are other super super powered people within this universe. Um, Ripper calls them Excepts. I believe Excepts might be short for exceptional. It seems like a logical uh, a logical jump right there um and what are excepts we really don't know besides the fact that they are super powered somehow we we don't know if they're born with it we aren't we don't know if they like they're alien in nature um or if it's from some other some other meaning other means um Nonetheless, they are they are the super powered individuals within this uh, within this universe. And so in the trailer, it talks about several people that are accepts. One of those people being Yaira, this person right here. So why do I think this person and uh, Yaira and Isam are connected? Solely based off of the name right here, Yaira. Why? Am I thinking that Yaira is a Hebrew name? Um, this name means, uh, I believe it's bringer of light or light bringer or someone who shines light. And as we see here, we, don't, we, we do not have much to go off of. Ripa did not give us a whole bunch of information, but we see here uh, she looks like she has the ability to fly. <clears throat> and her, this aura around her looks like she's able to manipulate energy or light in some form or fashion what that fashion is you know it's all speculation at this point but just based off that aura it looks like she has some type of light radiating from her that she is able to control and maybe weaponize and so <clears throat> Um, the reason why I think these two characters are connected is because she seems to be coming from the same um, same area as uh, Isam. And I think the same phenomena possibly happened with her. She developed her powers, started saving people, helping people and all that. And then the community uh, was starting to call her this uh, this biblically based name. Uh, and she just adopted it much like Isam. so that that's why i think these two are connected um somehow or at the very least they are also good guys and why why do i think that watch this watch this watch this. these guys right here the alpha core these are other excepts they're super powered um people and lo look at the uniforms that they're uh that they all wear they're all wearing the same exact colors um uh, looks like army green and black. And so why are these guys the bad guys? Earlier in the video, in the trailer, uh, let's see if I could 
get to that part uh we're watching that watching that we're seeing i think i passed it already get to where we see our hero sorry for doing this i didn't i didn't save the uh the timestamp uh we watched that where are they where is he okay there it is nope that ain't it oh that's where it is right here all right so this is isam our boy the hero and he is fighting uh a handful of guys right here so the people that, that he is fighting we don't know if they're super powered or not but one thing we can see is that they are wearing a similar uniform as the Alpha Corps. They have that same army green armor and the black. And uh, it's padded similar and all that. So because Isam, our hero, is fighting these guys, that leads me to believe that the Alpha Corps themselves are also bad guys. So now why do I think Yaira is also a good guy? Because it seems like she is also fighting the Alpha Corps in her in the small photo that we get of her. So right here, you can see a little bit in this corner, but to me, it looks like this is, I don't know what type of body part this is, but the color seems to be that same army green that the alpha core wears. And, uh, Yaira, she's, she has her face, her game face on. She's looks like she's ready to fight someone. She has her powers all going and she's, she's descending on this guy. And so this little interaction right here makes me think she's fighting the alpha core and the alpha core bad guys. And so her and Isam at the very least have that same thing in common that they're both fighting off the alpha core. So I believe our heroes in this book is going to be Isam and and Yaira, and they both seem to have uh, biblical uh, biblical names, and both possibly come from the same area in Texas. So that that's basically my my fan theory. Um, yeah, you, you guys can tell me what you think about it. Uh, if you think I'm crazy or not. Um, or if I'm just looking in the stuff too much, but, but yeah, this is something I'm looking forward to. I, I love speculating things like this. Um, this is something that I miss from DC and Marvel, uh, the speculations and things like that. Um, and I'm, you know, I, I, I'm looking forward to doing more of this with, uh, the community at large, because th th this seems to be like a real legit IP and, uh, I hope you guys have your own fan theories as well. If you have anything else to add or, or stuff to, to say about this, put it in the comments. I'd like to hear what you got to say. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys have a blessed day. See ya. Peace.